In the final days of the presidential election, President Trump and Joe Biden are shifting their campaigns into overdrive. Today, the president is making five stops. He's hitting Michigan, Iowa, North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. He held four rallies Saturday, all in the battleground state of Pennsylvania. His Democratic challenger, Joe Biden, is making two stops today. In Philadelphia, Biden got a boost from his former boss, Barack Obama, during two Saturday campaign events in Michigan. All of this as the number of new COVID 19 cases keep ticking up. The pandemic may be the single biggest factor in this election, with more than 9.1 million infections and 230,000 Americans dead. Much of this surge is happening in battleground states where both candidates are focusing their energy. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman has more from the campaign trail. Then this moment in Flint was a reminder Joe Biden elbow bumping Barack Obama. Michigan's a battleground state for COVID and presidential politics. Over the past two weeks, cases here are up 82 percent, and the presidential candidates have stopped in nine times. But wherever they go, the Trump administration's response to the virus is on the ballot. We're rounding that beautiful turn, and it's going to be very good. Texas now rounds a dark turn, nearly 18,000 COVID deaths. Democrats think they could use the issue to flip Texas from red to blue. The president of the United States, who took to a stage and said, we're rounding the corner. Are you kidding me? COVID consumes El Paso. Residents here have to shelter at home. Its non-essential businesses were ordered closed for two weeks. We have seen throughout history that drastic times require drastic measures. Drastic times across much of the U.S., for the first time, the country broke a half million new COVID cases in a single week. In COVID's third major surge, researchers say no state has reached its peak. Almost one-third of all U.S. counties meet the definition of a hotspot. Overseas, Europe's also in COVID crisis. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced a second lockdown in the U.K. The virus is spreading even faster than the reasonable worst case scenario of our scientific advisors. In France's new lockdown, Parisians fled the city to ride out the lockdown in the countryside. And Germany's four-week lockdown begins tomorrow. Here in Georgia, Republican Governor Brian Kemp is now under quarantine. He was apparently exposed at a campaign event last week. Kemp has tested negative, but his two-week quarantine may deny him his chance to vote. And I want to now bring in political reporter Caitlin Huey Burns, who's joining us from Philadelphia. Caitlin, final days of the election. President Trump was in Pennsylvania on Saturday. Joe Biden focused on the state Sunday. According to the CBS News Battleground tracker, Biden is leading Trump in Pennsylvania by about seven points. Is that reflecting what you're hearing from voters there on the ground? Well, voters and campaign officials that we've talked to think that this is a closer race than polls suggest here in Pennsylvania. And what gives that us that indication? Well, the president gave four stops here yesterday. Former Vice President Joe Biden is here in Philadelphia today, will remain in the state tomorrow, campaigning all across the state. The reason why this is so competitive here is, is in 2016, this race was determined by 44,000 votes, such a slim margin, and of course went to Trump and helped him win the White House. This state offers 20 electoral votes. The Biden team thinks that if they can win here, they block off the president's path to victory or at least make it much more difficult. The president thinks that Pennsylvania is a place that catapulted him to the White House last time around and is competing for voters here again. Well, when it comes to the pandemic, Pennsylvania has also had 8,800 deaths from the virus. What are voters telling you about their candidates' response to the coronavirus and how that's influencing their votes? Well, voters that we talked to supporting either candidate say that the pandemic has changed their lives, but they differ on whether they blame the president for that or uh, think that he couldn't have done anything different. If we, when, when you talk to supporters of the president, they say that the economy is kind of top of mind, that they want the economy to get back going, and they say the president couldn't have done really anything much different on it. But supporters of Biden that we talked to say that the pandemic is really shaping their views. Yesterday, we were in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, a key suburban area outside of Philadelphia, and we spoke to one voter 
who said that his mother passed away from COVID-19 and that this and health care are top issues for him heading into this election. And when he went to cast his ballot yesterday at that absentee vote drop box, that was his top concern. And what exactly has changed your mind? The world. What's happening in the world today has changed my mind. So I want to be a part of fixing it. Wow, Caitlin, uh, let's talk a little bit about the number of people who are voting early. As of Sunday morning, 92 million people had already cast their ballots, either by mail-in ballots or early in-person voting. How are the campaigns spinning those numbers, and where are the candidates headed on Monday? Well, the Biden team has been focused on early voting and absentee voting, encouraging supporters to get their vote before Election Day. The Trump team, however, excuse the noise behind us, we're on the streets of Philadelphia. The Trump team, however, has uh, really been encouraging voters to go on Election Day. They believe that's where they're going to make up the ground. They are anticipating a surge in voters on Election Day that they believe will benefit them. I'm standing uh, outside the Philadelphia Convention Center where uh, all of the ballots in Philadelphia will go to be uh, processed and counted. Uh, this is a huge issue here in Pennsylvania, as we've been talking about, Lana, uh, over the past few days. The focus on ballots, when they're received, how to hand them in, uh, has been a kind of top of mind for voters supporting either candidate. They've been telling us that they've been very focused on making sure their ballot gets in in time to be counted. How big is Pennsylvania? Well, uh, the uh, Vice President, uh, former Vice President Joe Biden is here tonight and tomorrow uh, campaigning around the state. Um, the, uh, also, uh, President Trump will be coming back to Pennsylvania tomorrow. He's going to be campaigning in Scranton, Pennsylvania. You've heard of Scranton, of course, before, because that is the hometown, uh, the birthplace of Joe Biden. So a little bit of uh, perhaps yeah. last minute trolling going on there, a key area that the president hopes to rev up support. All right, Caitlin Huey Burns, thank you.